Okay, we're back. So I'm going to be teaching you how to build a landing page and sales page. Now, don't worry, it's not overwhelming. It sounds more complex than it is. I'm going to show you everything you need to know um, in the most simple way possible. So if you go to the website tab and you go down to pages, you'll see that there is an option for a website so you can have all your different products. Um, I have not used this in a while, but I am kind of curious to see what, what I had here, uh, just so you can see what this looks like. So you can also see here um, my different offerings. You can create, you know, a, kind of like a landing page for all of your different products. So I've done this. By no means is this professionally done or even looks nice, but this is something that you can do if you wanted to create a landing page to have all of your products, you can even do something like this. You don't even need a website. So it's really simple to do. Um, so that's an example of a website there. So landing page, let's go to a landing page. So you're gonna go create new landing page and it's gonna give you some options on what you wanna do. So you can do a blank one you can do more of like a sales page and look there's so many different ones that you can use they even have ones for podcasts that you can have if you wanted to host your podcast on a landing page uh, so there's so much that you can do here i like to go with a traditional i'll show you how to build one from scratch it's really not that hard i will show you the simple way to do it so we're going to click on that get started let's just do test name it test so it's going to install the new template and you'll get to see what this looks like. I love starting from uh, a blank canvas because then you can really create your own. You can do whatever you want to do. You can design it the way you want. So they have this broken down into sections. So right now this is just a basic landing page. So you would be adding in sections so you can do um, for example, a text, if you wanted to have a text and a, um, a hero with an image, a hero with image just means that maybe this is something here. Let's add that in. Then you can go in and edit the text. So there you go. You can edit the text. You can edit the image. If you wanted to use, say, um, an example would be this. If you wanted to have this at the top of your landing page and you wanted people to see it right away, again, I taught you how to do that in the offer and products. You can go ahead and create that in Canva, save. And then what you would do, if you wanted this at the top, you would go back, back again, and then you would put this at the top. So super simple, you just drag it and that's it. So if you wanted to take out this text, you would just go to these little three ellipses, delete. You could even make this bigger. So what's really cool about this is you can adjust the width. So if you wanted it to be bigger like that, 10 columns, you can kind of play around with it. I also want to show you how to move this over. If you wanted to move it up, down, left, right. So what you can do is go down to desktop layout. And what you would do, you can either align it left, center. Let's see what that does. Desktop alignment. Um, you can hide the block so you don't see it. You can move that back. So what you want to look at is if you're wanting to, I usually, I, I leave the inside spacing alone. That is referring to this inside spacing. I like to adjust where, say, um, you could even make it flush. This is more the outside spacing so that you have, here, let me show you the difference. See how it's it has that little um, gap there. You can make it flush so that you don't see that. The outside spacing, what you can do is say, let's just adjust this 50. What that does is it shifts it down. If you wanted it to be the opposite way, see, you would do a negative sign. So the negative sign will shift it up. And then let's do this on the bottom so you can see what that looks like. So it's making it tighter. If you wanted it to be just back at zero, you just adjust that. You can also do where you are moving it left to right. If you're doing negative 50 this way, watch what happens. See, if you wanted it to be all the way to the left, 
you can maybe do even 400. So the higher you go in the, in the numbers, that is gonna allow you to shift it to the left, to the right, the same thing. So let's go back to zero and let's shift it to the right. I'll show you what that looks like. So cool, right? So say that you wanted to save that and keep editing, we're gonna do that. What you can do is you can add content. So say that you wanted to add a call to action button you can just add that and then guess what you do here you go back to desktop layout um you can place block on its own row which is kind of cool and let's see what that does make flush so you can really adjust where you want all of these pieces to fit you can also add a text box you can do audio you can do a video so much to do here so you're adding a text box. If you wanted that to be up near this upper left corner, you can adjust the desktop layout. Again, you're probably gonna wanna do a negative 200. Let's try that, negative 400, because I'm, my goal is to get that up here. Let's try negative 300. Okay, so we're getting there. So you just keep adjusting until you get to where you want, to, where you want that text to be. Okay, and then what you could do is you can even shift this. So if you want this to be a little bit smaller so that you can fit the text box, oops, <laughs> you can just go ahead and do that. So playing around with that, you can create something where you have this. Here, let's move this over to the right a little bit more. You'll start to get the hang of it once you do it. 600 so that way okay and then sometimes if you go too far it doesn't let you it takes you away okay so 500 is the magic number they want it that way okay so you can even have a text here um, you can also do uh, something where maybe you don't have a call to action button you delete that block but instead you have this let's do five you have this further down underneath so maybe instead it's negative 100. Let's see what that does. Or side by side. So let's go to zero. Zero. And then we're gonna go to zero there. And what you could do is shift that down. So we're gonna do negative 400. Again, you're shifting it down so that it's legible. And then this you could go ahead and move up. Um, negative 300. You're just really testing it out to see where you want things. I'm just showing you this so that you get an idea. If you get stuck, come back to this video um, because this is really gonna be able to show you how to adjust everything. I struggled with this forever and I had to learn this myself, but I'm just showing you something simple that you can work with. So let's move this back to zero. So it's gonna be centered. Okay, you have that. And how you adjust the background is you just click on this background you can either make it a video or nothing. Make sure that this background media type is on if you want there to be a background. So as an example, I'll just use one of my background images here. Again, you can make these from Canva, super simple, super easy. I wanna show you something cool with this. Okay, so say that you want it to be um, background color. This is where you get to shift the transparency. So you're clicking on this and then you can go make it a little bit lighter. Look how that shifts, right? Where we are able to see it a little bit more. You can see more of the color or if you wanted it darker. So you get to just pick whatever you want. I like to have it a little bit lighter so that you can actually see what the background looks like. You click save, boom, done. <laughs> you're on your way. I like to have, you know, something in the background here. Um, you can also do like a fixed background image. Again, picking something that you've created in Canva. It's better if you have some of like more lighter colors, if you are doing, and there's my husband, <laughs> you guys get to see all this. Something like this, like a white background or even um, something that's gonna be easy for your clients to kind of navigate through. I'll show you what I mean by that. So as you're creating your landing page, you wanna have a lighter background so that you can have your clients be focusing on your messaging, but you also want it to be pretty and look nice, right? 
The other option is you could hire somebody to do this. If somebody is kick ass at Kajabi, you could just have them have them do it for you, right? So you might be saying, all right, well, where's the image? It's not here. You have to go to background color, click on this, and then go there. And you'll see it. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> Hold on. Background image. You know why? Because we put background media was not in so image. There we go. Perfect. So if you're ever getting stuck, make sure that you go back to make sure that this image is on. So save. Um, you could even go into here and you can make the background, block background color, whatever you want. So you can make it green, watch what happens, see? So that way people can read very clearly. You can make it purple, you can make it whatever color you want. And if you're like, all right, I don't like this space down here, guess what you go back to? Desktop layout. This is probably the inside spacing because we're talking about this. So let's do negative 40. See what that does. Um, or negative 100. See how that adjusts? So maybe you need to go 50. Uh, negative 200. Let's see. So you can adjust using that. And looking at the inside spacing, if you wanted these two things to be a little bit further apart, you would go down, right? Because you're wanting to make sure that this is separate from this image, whatever that is, you could do, let's see what 50 does. See how that shift down, shifted down right away. So this is how you just start to, you know, mess with the spacing, super simple. And you might be saying, oh my gosh, like this is so much information. Rewatch the video, I promise it's gonna make sense. Um, you just have to really look at the, the spacing and be able to say, okay, how do I shift this left? How do I shift this right? And just go back to like intuitively thinking, okay, well, if I want to shift this down, I have to add 50 spaces to get it down. If I want it even further down, I'm going to add a hundred. So you can just go ahead and do that. Okay. So now I'm going to show you again, you can create an image. Maybe you want an image of yourself. I'll just show you. I'll just pick one here, this beautiful woman. So you can go ahead and add that in, if that's something you wanted to do. If you wanted to add text next to her, if you wanted to make her smaller, go up to here to the width. So you could do like five column. If you wanted to add in text, you know what to do, right? We've done this. So you would be going to outside spacing and we're gonna be adding so it's probably too much. Okay, so we're, let's do negative 300 because we're moving to the right. So see, that was too much. So then you just keep adjusting until you get what you want. Negative 50. You might also need to make this, um, sorry, I'm trying to figure out. So if you wanted, let's see what 100 does. Okay, so 100 moves it to the left, so you want it to move to the right. But then it's too far, so you might need to make this a little bit bigger. See, and that's when it, it will go down to the next, the next column there, the next row. So again, you can just, you know, kind of mess with this a little bit. And I'm going to just bring it back to zero so we can see how to continue building this landing page. Um, again, place this block on its own row. That would help Christina <laughs> if I did that. Okay. So now we're going to go in and add, let's go back. If you ever get lost, just go back to this piece here because this is going to show you, I'll show you exactly what's happening. This is the hero with image. The hero is just a fancy term for like the, the block that you're in. Then you have the hero down here. If you click on it, you have a text and then you have the image. If you wanted to add in anything else, um, a countdown, a call to action, a video, a link, an offer, anything like that, you could do that here as well. I'm going to be showing you actually, let's go back. You're going to, we're going to be adding in a section. I want to show you three feature cards, what this would look like, because you most likely will have something like this where 
maybe you have three different client testimonials. So what we're gonna do is go back to this section and again, you want to make sure that this is on so you have the uh, uh, any background, whatever background you want to pick, whatever you want to create. I'm just going to pick this one. This is not going to look pretty, by the way. I'm just kind of showing you different examples. What you could do to just make this easy for yourself is to just have the same background all throughout. So I'm just showing you different ways to do this. Then what you would do here is you want to have pictures, maybe of a client that you've worked with before. I'm just going to use one of myself so you can see what this looks like. Okay. So client X, you know, this is exactly how you do it. You just go in and add them. Um, and you can make it bigger, right? Uh, let's see. It's kind of a tiny image, but you can also... Um, there might be a way to add an image in this too. Maybe, maybe not. Um, image style. You can hide the image, image width. Here we go. So 200. So see, then you're making it bigger. Then if you want it a little bit more, if you're a little OCD or <laughs> wanting it a little bit more um, to the right, let's try that. 50. Uh, the outside spacing is what we need. That's why. Oh, I lied. <laughs> okay. So you can adjust based upon what you want this to look like. Um, you can have the text alignment be more centered. You can change the call to action button to have the button be, say, purple. Right? If you want that, then you would go in and add their testimonial right? That's it, all you need to do. I, I'm going to show you how to adjust the text because there are different ways. If you're seeing the, the text difference here versus here, uh, I'm just going to write testimonial and I'll show you if I could spell, I'll show you what this looks like. So testimonial, you just go to headings and you'll get to see, you'll get to know as you play around with this heading four, we'll get to see what this looks like. See how it's bolder. It's bigger. Then you might have smaller text. Um, Brianna was amazing at coaching. We're just going to pick, pick somebody's name. Then you'll start to see, okay, that's what that looks like. And then at the end, you might have, you know, Beth T would be, you know, pharmacist or whoever it is that you're sharing about here. With this background, you can also change the color. And here we go, background. Background color, you can change it to purple as an example, and you can make it a little more transparent. Ooh, that's actually really pretty. You can change the transparency to make it darker. Whatever you want, whatever colors you want. I'm just showing you kind of different, different examples here. And then you would do the same for these other two. Okay. So now I want to show you an example of a landing page that I've built before. So here is an example. Let's go to, I've actually built Eric, <laughs> Eric one too. Um, cool. Let's go to Elevate Entrepreneur Academy. So you can see the back end of this. So once you create your first landing page, it's really easy to keep creating more because you can just duplicate it. And then you can go ahead if, you know, you usually are going to have probably similar things that go into it. So you're going to have the header here, the hero image. You might even have a video and then you can, you know, go into the copy and exactly what you're, you're marketing. You can have a long form sales page. You can have a short form. This um, example that I'm showing you is a long form sales page. So you can see I've added in different images here. I really speak to, you know, the desires of what my ideal client is wanting. And I also have this uh, sign up button here. So all throughout, I've created these different uh, call to action items and, and buttons. Because what if somebody just wants to go straight to it? Like, oh, this is great. Okay, I want to sign up. So giving them that opportunity is really helpful. So you can see here, I'm really showing the amazing, look at these women, amazing, uh, different pictures that you might have of yourself, of others, branding, you know, really showcasing your work. And you can, you know, include those here. 
again, I like to have this because if somebody just wants to scroll right to the page, this was what I was showing you before with the different <clears throat> options for the testimonials. And the reason why this is all different is because um, whenever you go to actually look at the, the practical, like what this looks like, even though it looks like on the back end, it's a little bit off, look at how that is now on the front end. So the way that you adjust this again is through the, the block that I showed you before looking at the desktop layout, you might have to do some adjusting there. So just keep testing it out. You know, if you have, if you have to move like the middle one up a little bit, do that so that they're all even, I just wanted to make sure I showed you that. Cause that was frustrating to me. I'm like, why is this not working uh, when I first started doing this? So you can also have some testimonials, client wins, um, I show screenshots of exactly, you know, the results that people get. And then, you know, you're giving this call to action. So you would have your payment, you know, however much it is, you would have the things that you're created, uh, the things that you've created. I also like to put the value in parentheses so that you're seeing uh, your client is seeing how much value you're giving them. And then you would have a, you know, I'm ready to sign up click uh, call to action button. So this is just a simple landing page, something that you can create. Again, you can have a text box, you can add to this where, you know, if you wanted to have a background, you could do that and just make it purple as an example, right? So let's check that out. And then I would go in and I would have to change the text color, but I don't want to do that. I want it to just be blank. So you can go ahead and just, make it blank. So I usually have at the bottom, you know, a little bit about myself, you could do the same thing, you know, about, about you so that your client really gets to know, like, and trust you. Um, FAQ would be at the bottom. Any questions that you think your, your ideal client would want answered. So this is just one example of a landing page that I have created. And again, if you don't want to create this and you want someone else to create it for you, you can do that too. But at least I like to know, you know, if I need to go change anything, if I need to adjust anything, I know how to do it. And so that's what I really wanted to empower you with in this course is navigating Kajabi and knowing how to create a simple offer, a product, a sales page, all of these things can be simple. It doesn't have to take a lot of time. Even if your eyes are glazing over right now, it's allowed to be easier. So just follow the steps, take notes, try it. Just think about when you're first starting to ride a bike, you, you're like, oh, I don't know what to do, it's awkward. But once you do it over and over and over again, you'll be navigating as quickly as I am. So I will see you on the next video. I hope that you got so much out of this landing page training and I will talk to you soon.